silk. Silk is insect fiber. It comes from the silkworm cocoon that the silkworm spins around itself to form its cocoon. A single filament from a cocoon can be as long as 1600 meters. It is considered as an animal fiber because it has a protein structure. Silk acts as an excellent insulator to keep our bodies warm in the cold weather and cool in the hot weather. China is the leading silk producer of the world. India is the world's second largest producer of silk. Life history of silk moth Silk is the natural fiber produced by silk moths. The high quality silk fibers are produced by cultivated silkworms grown in a controlled environment. The stages in the life cycle of silkworm are ova, larvae, pupa and imago. Stage 1. Ova or eggs. The female silk moth lays eggs. Newly laid eggs are a creamy yellow color and after a few days the fertile live eggs will be grey. The silkworm eggs will hatch in two weeks. Stage 2. Larva. The larvae that hatch from the eggs are called caterpillars or silkworms. After hatching the larvae, eat the leaves of the mulberry continuously. Stage 3. Pupa. The silkworm will spin a silk cocoon as protection for the pupa. After a final molt inside the cocoon, the larva changes into the brown pupa. Sericulture Sericulture is an art of rearing silkworm for the production of cocoons which is the raw material for the production of silk. India has the unique distinction of being the only country producing all kinds of silk. Different types of silk fabric Silk fabric, one of the higher grade fabric known for its softness, smoothness, luster, beauty and luxurious look. It gives comfort in all types of weather and is the best natural fabric in the world. Although you will find number of silk fabrics but basically they are categorized into four major groups. These are Mulberry, Tusser, Muga and Eri. Activity 3 Aim to differentiate synthetic silk fiber and a natural silk fiber through burning test. Requirements Synthetic silk thread and natural silk thread Bunsen burner Procedure Take the synthetic silk thread and burn it. Now take a natural silk thread and burn it. Observations In case of synthetic fiber, the thread will melt, bubble, drip. In case of natural fiber, the thread will simply burn and turn to ash. The ash will be black and crispy or brittle. Conclusion Natural silks burn and smell like burning hair, whereas synthetic silks melt. From cocoon to silk For getting silk, moths are reared and their cocoons are collected to get silk threads. Rearing silk worms. A female silk moth lays hundreds of eggs at a time. The eggs are stored carefully on strips of cloth or paper and sold to silkworm farmers. The farmers keep eggs under hygienic conditions and under suitable conditions of temperature and humidity. The eggs are warmed to a suitable temperature for the larvae to hatch from eggs. This is done when mulberry trees bear a fresh crop of leaves. The larvae called caterpillars or silkworms eat day and night and increase enormously in size. Silkworms feed on mulberry leaves. Hence, the rearing of silkworms involves cultivation of mulberry trees which provide a regular supply of leaves. Worms are introduced through DFLs, disease-free layings, that is eggs. 
depending upon environmental conditions farmers can harvest the cocoons 4 to 8 times in a year processing of silk for processing of silk the following stages are involved once the silkworm cocoons have reached the factory to be made into silk thread first they are sorted and checked for defects next they are boiled to kill the worm inside if the worm progresses too far it will eat its way out of the cocoon and ruin the thread after boiling the end of the thread on the cocoon is found and attached to a spool and then unwound onto a bobbin reeling taking out of silk yarn from the cocoons is called reeling this is done by cooking them first in water to remove the gum which holds it together and then unwinding the filaments reeling Usually 8 to 10 cocoons are reeled together.